Hello, yes, Nick Stewart here. And in this video, we're going to talk about real estate investing in the stock market and stocks and shares and bonds and how this particular type of investment is the most liquid investment that you can possibly make. So let's get to the video and get into it. If you want to know more about uh, my videos and the reason for my videos, please visit my uh, video, uh, Trust, Integrity and Transparency. Um, that'll tell you everything about the, about the videos I'm doing. So um, let's get on to the stock market, um, stocks and shares and bonds and so forth. And let's start why it is the most, uh, the biggest choice for most investors with capital is because it's liquid. So, for example, you can buy uh, Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, Microsoft, uh, whatever stock you want to buy. You can buy and sell it 10 times in a day. And the entry cost for buying and selling is relatively, uh, relatively small. Um, and the, the, the mo you can liquidate your assets at any point. So let's say you see suddenly see an investment you want to go into. If, for example, your money is in a real estate asset, um, you have to sell that real estate asset before you can move into that investment. Uh, if you have your money in stocks and shares, you uh, can sell your stocks and shares um, and there's no constraints. So if you have a real estate asset, you have to set, you have to find a buyer for the asset. The only proviso that you have um which is the same with real estate assets is you will be creating a capital you could be creating a capital gain when you sell your stocks and shares and that will differ in each country as to what that uh, liability is and it's but to be fair it's only on the gain so it, you've already had the money um so for example if you bought a stock for a hundred dollars and you sold it for 200 your gain would be on the hundred dollars so if it was if capital gains tax was 20 percent you would pay two hundred dollars on that, for, as an example. So that is the that is the ma major reason why major investors do this. And the other major thing to bear in mind, which is the same, if you've seen all my investing videos, is investing is for the medium to long term. So generally, you unless you have a tip from somebody or there's a, a hunch you're following, you think a stock is going to suddenly shoot up fifty percent in a very short space of time you should really be looking to invest medium to long term um so as uh warren buffett says uh, the stock market is a way of transferring um uh, money from the uh from the uh, from the inpatient to the patient and um so if you're looking to build wealth etc etc you should be taking a five-year view and remember you only lose money on any asset uh stocks and shares and bonds included when you actually sell an asset and you only make money when you sell an asset and that is really the most important and fundamental thing to bear in mind and the other thing you want to think about when you invest in stocks and shares is uh, what i call asymmetrical risk or position sizing i.e. you shouldn't have all your money in one stock. So most seasoned professional investors may have their money spread over 50 stocks and they may have a weight in the stock. And by that, uh, what I mean is they may have 90, uh, they may have 90 stocks, um, but some but weight it to 100. So what I mean by this, you could have 80 stocks at a dollar each and uh 10 stocks at two dollars each as an example so i the stocks that you are more favorable with you hold more of but it, you have a hundred percent balanced portfolio um this gets into quite serious uh investing and really you really need to speak to your own financial advisor or you may be you yourself may be your own financial advisor in regards to that uh, position size sizing is really really important uh, a quick note on bonds bonds up until now uh, we're talking to 20, 2023 here have not been a good investment because the yields have been very 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 small i mean the interest rates have been 0% for for next to for next to 
the best part of eight years um, or five or six years, depending on uh, which market you're looking at. Uh, but now, um, at the time of this video, the the uh, federal uh, federal rate of the US is four and a half percent. So for the first time ever, bonds are actually and US treasuries are are actually giving you a return. And if you currently in the current market, this I think it's not always going to be that way. When you compare the risk of stocks and shares, bonds is maybe um, a part of your portfolio that should be should be made up a part of your portfolio. But again, as I said, this is where you would employ a financial advisor. Um, and in essence, uh, that's a quick overview of a stock market and why uh, why why investors hold most of their assets in in stocks and shares and bonds because of the liquidity and being able to buy and sell uh, relatively quickly. Um, I hope you found the video interesting. If you do, could you please hit the like button? Could you hit, uh, please also subscribe to the video channel and hit the notification bell if you're interested in receiving more videos like this. Thanks for watching the video and please feel free to connect with me on my personal website, nickstuart.co. Really looking forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.